Hello and welcome to your program. My name is John Reiser. I'm the uh, Director of Education Operations here at Ashworth and I'll be your guide to our new LMS or Learning Management System and I just want to show you some of the new features. Uh, when you've logged in, you've obviously you've already seen this page that you're looking at here and it's called My Workspace. Uh, it's a very important page and this is really your home base for all your learning. Across the top you'll notice there are some links and these are where your course links will be listed. So every course that you're enrolled in you'll see up here and this will show your most recent uh, courses. Of course you can edit that and it's going to give you some of the options to hide a course if you've already completed it or you're not working on it right now or arrange and your course order on your tabs or how many you show in your tab. You have a lot of options there. Um, so, and you just click on this edit button here and you can do all those edits. Let's go back to the home and this is a, just as a side note, whenever you, if you ever get lost on a page, you should see this home button here. If you click on it, it will take you right back to your main page. If you don't see a course listed here, you may also look under the tab My Sites and it's going to bring down a drop down of all the courses you're enrolled in. Uh, in a list here and so you can also enter that course by clicking on those links here or view if you have any hidden sites it'll take you back here and show you what sites you may have uh, may have hidden so that's how you access your courses but before we get into our courses and we'll talk a little bit about my workspace page first thing you'll notice you'll have a calendar here uh, this calendar will roll up any event that your instructors in any of your courses have set for you so if there's a important meeting or a discussion or uh, any kind of special event that an instructor has set up in your course it will appear on your calendar here and you have some options here if you click on the option button to decide what you want to mark as a high priority uh, you know the colors what you want to see it by month you know by week uh, so you have a little bit of options here this little button here this uh, you can see it move the this is really your back button when you're working in Sakai, this LMS. Um, try not to use your browser back button. Always use this little arrow, it's important, and it'll take you right back to your uh, beginning of that uh, application you're working in. Um, you can also go over here and click on your calendar, and this is where you actually can add some of your personal to dos as well. So if you want to add and kind of create your study schedule, um, you know, or just personal life and just kind of use this as a way to kind of keep everything organized, you can do that. So that's really cool. Uh, and then on the announcements, announcements will list, and the, here is showing you right now there's an announcement for me uh, from this first course, but if any of your instructors post an announcement to your class, uh, you'll see that here. And it will be, again, this is for all your courses that you're enrolled in will be listed here and you can control how you know view a few of them ten at a time by beginning date ending date have a little bit of control there as well so let's go back to the home page so um, and then you have um, things up here and, and just you know you have your go back to your student portal which is where you can make payments things of that sort uh, check on your account status the community, uh, if you haven't gone to the community yet, I suggest that you do. That's where all your classmates are, and it's a great place to uh, ask questions and get help, but also just on a social level, just talk to other people that are going through the course with the same issue. Uh, it's a great experience, uh, and by just clicking there, you can go over and, and check it out for yourself. And that should do it, and this is your My Workspace. The next video we'll talk about is how to migrate within your courses.